is a boot scrape. Take a look at this picture and you'll see it the way it was originally used. You know, back when streets were made of dirt, people needed boot scrapes outside their homes so they could scrape their boots before they came inside. So these are plentiful. Now what I'm going to do is take this boot scrape and turn it into a garden marker. I'm going to use it for my plants and write the word pansies on it. And I'm going to place it in my window box. So when you add this to your window box, it creates an architectural element and it helps me remember what I planted. So remember, you can use an old boot scrape for a garden marker and that way it's not too far from its original purpose of dirt. wanted to plan a party outside or maybe host uh, some people, some friends over and you get the table set and you bring out the drinks only to have a rain shower or maybe the sun is just glaring, it's just glaring and it's just not comfortable. Well, I know the person who is perfect for the solution and it's an awning and that would be Brett Gordon of Sunsetters. Welcome back, Brett. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Well, you know, uh, not only do you carry the awnings and with the Sunsetter, and we were just talking about an application that you just did, but you also have more home improvement. So once they get you out there, you know, it's difficult these days. You're so busy that once you get Brett out there, you can take care of some of the other needs in the home, too. Tell sure. us about that. Sure can. We, uh, we do replacement windows, replacement doors. We uh, uh, siding. Um, gutters and gutter guards, so about anything to the exterior of the home. Well, this time of year, what we're concerned with is the heat. It's mm -hmm. that, I mean, we're glad to have the great summer fun, but when you want to go outside, it's kind of like what you were talking about earlier, when we go outside to play, we, we right. really want to have a little bit cooler. And you said awnings really bring it down about 20 degrees. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's kind of like sitting underneath a shade tree. You know, and and getting that kind of a feeling under there, and uh, and you got that when with the winds moving, the flapping of the awning a little bit. It's kind of soothing to me. I love that. And you were talking about what this is made of that does reflect that heat. Yes, it's a woven acrylic fabric, and uh, it uh, it doesn't fade. Uh, it's the color's the same all mm -hmm. the way through, so it fades to the same color. So. Uh, it's really a neat product. And lots of different colors. Mm -hmm. Well, let's show this product on uh, some houses okay. so people can get a feel for what that looks like. Okay. Here we're on a, a kind of a typical installation where we've got a, a sided house uh, and we're mounting to a wall. And uh, they, they had a room left over where they could put their barbecue grill off to the side. So it turned out to be a really nice installation there. I like that. And here, I, I like that they matched uh, the color, and that's one thing, uh, as a designer, I would encourage you, whenever you are choosing your awning, think about how it applies to the home, whether you have brick, or siding, um, you know, you may love tropical tropical turquoise, but it might not look good with your brick, so do consider that. That's for sure. Yeah, there's a really nice one. We, we mounted in between a set of windows there, and over top of it, it's what's called a protective hood, and that helps keep the awning uh, dry when it's rolled up so you don't have to worry about putting a cover on it or anything. And uh, once again, you can see it gives you a lot of nice shade there, and it, and, and it just looks really great on a house. And is this one motorized? Yes, this is motorized, and it also, it doesn't have any, we got some that, some models that do have legs for it to stand on, but this is a, a what's called a lateral arm awning, which means there's no supports underneath it that you have to worry about bumping into. You know, I like that because it keeps it really open space. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's another lateral arm awning. Looks like it's a, this is a soffit mount where we actually mounted right underneath the soffit, right underneath the gutter instead of to the wall. Well, this looks really good, and what I like about this um, motorization is that you can easily, by remote control, just pop this in and out. You don't mm -hmm. have; it doesn't have to remain as a structure all the time. Right. And here's one with the roof mount. Um, this is when, because either, probably in this situation, the door and and the the area over above the door was too low. There wasn't enough room to put an awning there, but we can go up onto the roof. Uh, and, and get enough height there to, to still have an awning on the house. 
That's great. And, you know, uh, what I like is when you come out, so you're going to measure the space. You're going to tell them the best application of what to use. Correct. You're going to bring the samples. And then, of course, you and I have been hanging out so long, you're going to make sure that they get the one that matches their That's brick. Right. And then you're also going to tell them um, about your warranties because you're the number one awning company in America. Then you're going to also give them a price and literally they can do everything in one sitting and within two to three weeks we've got it all done and you've got installation That's so right. you're going to take them all the way through it what i like about that is sometimes you know you don't have people don't have time to meet two or three times you're going to do everything in one sitting and the next time that you see brett you're going to have a beautiful awning the other thing that you have is a it's um, a product called Oasis, right. which is uh, let's uh, actually let's uh, see a picture of that. This does not have to be mounted to your house. So say you have a pool, so, you know, a pool or something that you want it away from the home. Tell us about exactly. this product. This is for people that either have uh, an area like a pool where they want to have some shade or they have some kind of obstruction on the back of their home that like a fireplace or a bay window that an awning can't be attached to this this can be set off to the side it's mounted to the to the deck or the concrete or the 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 flagstone whatever we got to mount to and uh but it gives you it's uh comes in either lengths of 12 foot or 16 foot long and those sides coming out are five foot each so it's 10 foot wide now there. does that fold up it looks like yeah. it has arms on it so literally yes. it sort of folds up so when it's right not in middle. use right in the middle oh that's nice and you said that you could actually take that out of the uh, concrete and move it mm -hmm. later mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to now what are we seeing here this is on the oasis that's showing that that little black piece there is what's called a wind sensor and what that does if it gets real windy, uh, too windy, that will automatically retract the awning back. So if you're in the house or you've left and you forgot about the awning or you just left it out and a big gust of wind comes, it will close it up for you and, and not damage the awning. Oh, I like all of these accessories. Mm -hmm. And uh, now what is this flap that we see coming off this okay. one? That is a, a, what we call a, a weather breaker panel that's built into the front of the awning and what it does it'll extend all the way down to five feet down and um, uh, you could stop it anywhere in the in between there mm -hmm, though mm -hmm. but what it's meant to do is either to keep the sun from shining in at an angle like it can if you're facing west or something right right okay but it also blocks wind and rain so if you've got it there you can crank that down and it can do that and it can also help just give you a little more privacy too if you're facing directly onto some neighbors um, or something and you just want to be a little more private i really like that you know so not only do you have the awnings and you have all of these selections but also the accessories to go with it right. with the remote with the motorization right. and with all of these wind sensors and also uh i like that little flap i didn't know you even had that i was yeah. looking on your website and checking that out one thing that you have that I love because I love ambiance is um, your LED lights. Right. Yeah, they're great. They're new this year, and uh, they're a, a brand new product for Sunsetter this year. And they uh, uh, they they've been selling. Uh, well, it's been about 50 percent this year of all the customers that have placed orders that put these new LED lights on. Well, and what that allows is okay. You you you've got your awnings out there, but at night. Oh, you know, yeah. it's great to sit outside at night. Well, we've got uh, a little informational that we want right. to uh, talk about and, and see. So let's let's take a look at that. Our beautiful dimming LED lights make every evening something special, illuminating the entire area beneath your awning. For your convenience, we include a special remote that operates your awning as well as these gorgeous lights. Its dimmer switch lets you set the mood with soft or bright illumination. They're custom made to the exact size of your motorized awning and plug into any standard 110 volt outlet. Best of all, they're easy to install and you never have to take them down. Be sure to add dimming LED lights to your new Sunsetter awning order. Oh, I really like that. And mm -hmm. one of the things our lighting guy over at PM Lighting was on the show, he said that the LED lights don't attract 
bugs like other lights do. So that's right. the perfect thing to use underneath, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I've talked to several customers and asked them about that issue and they haven't been noticing a whole lot. You know, it, it don't, I don't think it keeps every bug away, but I mean, it's much different than the normal lighting we use, I think. And, um, and being dimming to where we got four different levels of lighting, so you can set it to whatever level you want it. If you just want it to be just a low level, you've got that. Or if you want it really bright and you're out playing cards or, you know, barbecuing out there or what have you, you know, it's great. Right. So you've got all, you've got four different levels of the lighting. Right. Now, are those installed, uh, just say, for example, somebody had bought an awning from you uh, last year. Is this retrofitting or is it only for if you're buying a new awning? It can be done either way. Oh, okay. So you can actually install that on something that you've installed exactly. in the past with exactly. the Sunsetter awnings. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to know. So let's kind of go over some of your accessories again, because am I missing anything that you guys carry? Well, I mean, um, the hood that we put over top of it, I, I think I mentioned earlier on, um, the wind sensor and, and the lights are the three biggest things that people want to put on an awning. Um, they... Um, trying to think if there's any others that I, I don't have in my head. Yeah, you uh, know, we don't want to be left out here. Our viewers want to know everything that you have available. Well, I'm going to show some of these colors because, you know, this, although this looks like just a, a, a light linen color, this would look great on, you know, if you've got cream colored bricks, you don't necessarily have to get a stripe. Uh, this can look good with any style home as well. Um, I like some of these solids, too, that you have in here. I think that that gives you, and this one is really pretty. This kind of looks like a, a taupe. What is your most popular selling colors here in Nashville? That one right there that you just picked out is one of them uh, this year. Another one on, on this side is this one right here. Um, oh, yeah, that's a very classic color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, those two have been other than just the and then on the on the very bottom here we've got this one oh, right I here. Oh, I like that. That's a sm very small stripe. Now that's going to give a little weird effect on on camera, but yeah, that's a, a great looking. And you also have that one in black as yep, well. Right above it. You know, so whenever you are choosing an awning, I mean, there's several reasons to get an awning, but obviously one of the reasons is you want to block out the harsh sunlight. Also, you can outsmart the weather. Uh, so if it's going to come a little rain shower, guess what? You're not going to be affected by it because you're going to have an awning. So when you come out to measure, one of the things that I was asking you about, um, how do you determine the best application, application, whether or not someone needs the Oasis or whether they need it attached? How do you decide that? Well, if, if there's... Uh, anything in the way I mean that's the first thing if there's if there's a fireplace there I'm, I, I've got to either go to one side of the fireplace or the other or I've got to go to the oasis uh, if there's nothing like that if I've got a, a blank wall to work with so to say uh, uh, then I've just got to worry about height issues and and clearances from doors and windows and things like that so right right and you can attach it to uh, you know a, a, a structure whether it's a stone brick, mm -hmm. wood. I mean, you can really attach these anywhere, but what I like is that Oasis because even if you don't have anything to attach it to, it can stand alone. And I know a lot mm -hmm. of people have situations where they have pools and that's a great product as well. It sure now, is. one of the things I wanted to ask you about is when you bring out the samples and you do all the measuring for them, you give them a price right then, they're ready to install. How long is it going to take them now to get this? Two to three weeks. Oh, that's good. That's a quick turnaround. It is. And especially you're in the middle of the summer and you're thinking, I want this right away. Yeah. I want to get I want to get out there and enjoy the outdoors. You know, this is a great product. Um, awnings can make such a difference too in the curb appeal. We were talking about curb appeal earlier right. and awnings just especially like you were saying with the uh, scalloping in the edge. Are there different edges that you can choose or how what is your edge on your product? They Sunsetter sticks with one. They're they um uh, it's one of the reasons they keep pricing low is because they they stick to some basic stuff that they don't change, and uh, so you're very competitive pricing oh yes. wise. Oh yes, that's why you're number one. Right. 
Right. <laughs> People like that in Nashville, don't we? <laughs> uh, well, we always say, too, to make sure that you do business here locally. And Brett Gordon of Sunsetter Onyx, well, you know, he can come out, do all of your measurements, and take care of you. Brett, thank you so much for sharing with us thank as you. well. And uh, we're talking about rain. If you want to stay out of the rain, you know our friends over at Foamworks, they always say, check your crawl space for your, uh, it's actually your barrier, your moisture barrier. Make sure that it's doing its job. Call them at 590-7856 and they can help you out with that. Well, coming up, you know, we at the end of a good party and we always like to enjoy our party here, we give out party favors. That's coming up, so don't miss out right after this.